right, so now that you have two sketches completed, you wanna pick the one that you're going to go with for your landscape painting. So I'm gonna go with this one, the one that I was showing you earlier. Um, now somewhere, either right underneath or if you have room right alongside, we're going to list all 12 of the colors from the color wheel. Okay, so first we're gonna start with red. And then the next one would be red, orange. Okay, next would be orange. Then we'd have yellow, orange. So you guys can be making this list right now also as I'm doing this. So you have the list right next to your sketch also. So red, red, orange, orange, and yellow, orange. Then we have yellow. Next would be yellow, green. Okay, then green. So we're on number eight now. This would be blue green. Number nine would be blue. Ten, blue violet. Eleven, violet. And twelve, red violet. Okay, now the reason why we made this list next to our sketch is because you are going to have to include every single one of these colors in your landscape painting. Okay, so right now we're going to do the planning stages of figuring out what is going to be painted what color. Should work out well because we have 12 elements in here and 12 colors to use. Okay, so once you have this written down, you're going to label your sketch. So I'm going to go through, um, I'm going to make my barn red. Okay, so I can cross that off. Let's see, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of red orange for the chicken, so I'll make him red orange. Um, I think I'm going to have some of the sky be orange. Okay, yellow orange. Probably be this little egg here. Um, yellow would be the sun. And for this, you can make the colors as realistic as you want to. But if you want to make your colors a little unrealistic so that you can use them all, that's all right too. Um, the main objective is that you're using all the colors. Most of the time you're going to try and think of things that make sense. But do however it works. So we got yellow green. I'm going to do that for these grass blades here and here. Um, green will probably be the top of this tree. Let's see, blue green. Blue green, I could make my puddle here. Okay, um, the top part of the sky I think I'll make blue, and then the blue violet, make my clouds blue violet. Um, violet, go ahead and make my evergreens violet, and red violet, let's see, I'll add some, I'm going to add some little bushes in here, some shrubs, I'll make those red violet. If you need to add something in. Can go ahead and do that. Okay, so once I've got all the colors labeled in my sketch, then I'm gonna get some colored pencils and go ahead and color this sketch in so that you kind of have a roadmap, a visual roadmap of where each of your colors is going to go. So that as you go into painting this, you have this as a reference for you.